So Meghan Markle and Harry, they have won this award. They were nominated for it. The John F. Kennedy, I think, uh, Ripple of Hope Awards. That's what's going on. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyways, they were nominated or they were chosen for some kind of award, whatever it is. They are going there. But what is very, very bizarre, to say the least, is that people who would go there would have to pay $1 million to sit by Harry on Mega. Can you imagine I spent $1 million to be able to sit with them? This is going crazy. Now, a lot of people, they see it at a face value. They do not really know what is going on underneath. The reason for that is because people are not familiar with what is happening between Meghan Harry and with the monarchy. Now, as you see, uh, just to sit with Meghan Harry, guests at a award ceremony have to pay one million. Check details, okay? We'll check details. So, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, royal author Angela Levin said that the couple are, uh, quote, getting too big for their ambitions, end quote. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry won the prestigious Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award for taking a stand against racism in the royal family. Three things I want to make mention of about this. Three things, only three things, to unravel the whole thing. Number one, Meghan and Harry, they do not want anybody to go there. Period. You see this? I'm making it very clear for you. Why $1 million you have to pay? Is because they do not want anybody to go there, especially sitting by their sides. They do not want that to happen at all. What are the reasons? Number, there are number three, actually three reasons. Okay, number one is that the organizers they do not want to take any chance. They do not want Harry and Meghan to be booed or humiliated. They do not want public who cannot even afford it. They do not want public to see what was happening or what is going to be uh, unfolding inside that award function. Number two is because Harry and Meghan perhaps. And I think uh, we can say it with, with all um, confidence that Meghan and Harry, they do not want to be seen by the public as for what reason they are receiving this award. You get my point? So they are going to be receiving this award and they will be bashed, they will be lashed. Whatever bad things happen, the awkwardness, some people will even protest. Whatever will happen inside after the award, they will come out as the winner. They want to come out as the victorious party and say to the whole world that we, uh, we have received this award because we are the heroes and we stood against the racism in the, in the royal family. Meghan and Harry, they do not want you and me to see what was actually happening or what will be happening, I should say, uh, inside the function, in, in the gathering. Number three reason is because public sentiment about the queen is very, very fresh. People are still remembering the queen. She passed away only a few days ago, a um, couple of months ago. And so when they are receiving this award, this is a direct insult against the queen. Therefore, they want to cover it. The organizers, Meghan Harry, and still do, still want to do the, the program the whole thing, the award function, they want to go ahead with that. I mean, they have no really heart. I mean, a lady just passed away, man, two months ago. And you are daring to insult her now in such a way that you are actually letting the whole world know that this is the award function, John F. Kennedy award function, Hope Award, People Hope Award, whatever it is. You are trying to actually really insulting and mocking the queen. These are the three reasons why I think they are not making it public. They will not let anybody to go inside because if you do want to go and sit with Meghan and Harry, we'll have to pay $1 million. I think also there is a good, this good possibility somebody might buy a ticket if it was, let's say, £500 or maybe at even £1,000, they will buy it and go there and slap Meghan and Harry on their faces. That could be also a possibility, right? People are frustrated. So many people are angry or insult them, not necessarily slap them, but insult them and start shouting at them, start screaming at them. Whatever it is, it is very, very bizarre, strange. <laughs> Something is off about the whole thing. That's the main point. 
Guys, if you're new here, consider to subscribe. As you can see here, I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.